after you designated uh, designate who the own access owners are meaning who the owners of firefight ids are going to be who the controllers are going to be and the next step is to assign uh, the firefighter ids you know tie up the firefighter ids with the owners and the firefighter users and the controllers okay uh, but before you do that right so we, there is one more uh, pro setting that we need to uh, specify okay so the system has to know which ids are the firefighter ids right so the way to know that for the system is going to be through the role that is assigning the parameter, right? So if you go to SPRO, go to compliance, access control, maintain configuration settings, the system has to know who the firefighter IDs are, right? So the, the system will recognize the user IDs, the firefighter IDs with the, uh, the people, user IDs that are assigned this role. Okay, so this this is the indication for the system that those user IDs are firefighter IDs. Okay, so how does the system know that? The system will know that when you, see if you go to, you have to configure that too, right? So if you go to access control, under access control, go to emergency access management and maintain the firefighter ID role per connector. Okay, so you have to maintain that role right we that we created or or whatever we have uh, which is very indicating this firefighter role you maintain that entry here okay for the connector so you go and click on new entries and then maintain this to uh, pieces of information so click on new entries and do this so let us quickly you know decide let's check this out right how does the system know this what I'm going to do now, just for demo purposes, I'm going to delete this entry. Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay, and now let's go back to our NWBC and to tie up the firefighter IDs with the owners and the controllers, uh, for, with the owners first, right? You can click, you have to click on the owners, okay? Let's click on the owners. So we're going to come back here again, okay, right? And so we're just trying to see what is the importance of that setting. So click on owner ID, so I'll select the owner ID, say go, and you get the list of the owners, right? The controllers, owners, or whoever is assigned those standard roles for owners and controllers. So click on this owner one, for example, and then click on add, right? You want to assign the owner to one firefighter ID, right? So click on this and go and say go. Then you see, if you see here, the IDs that we created, the firefighter IDs that we created, EAM ID 01 and EAM ID 02, they don't show up here. Okay. So because we didn't assign the standard rule, right? We assigned the custom rule that we created, the X rule that we created. Now let's cancel this. And let's go back to, let's keep that session open. And let's go back here and then say new entries. And how did we come here, right? Let's go back. Let's go back. So under access control, under access control, Come to emergency management, access management, and click on maintain firefighter ID rule per connector. Click on new entries. Pick your target connector. And that gives that role name, which is identified as your firefighter ID role, right? Click on save, continue. You can put it in your own transport, okay? So I'm just using whatever I that shows up. So do that. All right, so this is what you need to do, okay? This setting needs to be done. All right, now let's go back. Now let's go back to NWBC, okay, here. Now let's see whether in when you search for this, whether the EM ID 01 and EM ID 02 show up. All right, so if you see the EM ID 01 and EM ID 02 show up. 
So that setting, right, this, this pro circuit setting is important. So you don't forget to do this part. So for every connector that you have, enter your connectors here. So for this is for ECC system, if you have something for HANA, all that, and all the systems should have the same role, right? So you create this role in all the systems. Okay, so maintain that list here. Okay, that is how the system will recognize the firefighter IDs. All right, so let's go back. So now what we do is we need to assign the owners that fire the owners to the firefighter IDs, right? So let's say owner one owns EM ID zero one. Okay, let's do that. Now each owner can have multi can own multiple firefighter IDs. Okay, I can pick anything I want and make this owner EM owner zero one as owner of those firefighter IDs. Let's do that. So you can continue to add, keep on adding any firefighter ID that part needs to be owned by this particular user ID. Okay, uh, this particular person. So for example, all your, let's say you decide to have multiple, in your security team, you have five people, you will have five firefighter IDs. So let's assume that's some strategy you to apply. You will enter all the five, five, five firefighter IDs here and all those five will be owned by this owner, okay? Now, another point to remember is uh, save, right? If you're implementing workflow, right, then instead of save, you would have the submit button here, okay? But because we, we are not implementing our disable, you know, we removed uh, the workflow uh, parameters, as we said, no. This, that's why it says, it says save, okay? So click on save. So data has been saved, right? So close. Now similarly, let's go back here. Okay, this one come here, right? We'll click on assign again. Click on owner ID. Now let's tag the owner uh, 02 now, okay? EM owner 02. Now this list, you get this list only because you assigned did that uh, access owner assignment in the previous steps. Okay, now click on add. Again, you can, uh, every owner can, ha can own multiple uh, firefighter IDs. So we are just assigning one per owner right now, but you can have multiple firefighter IDs being owned by a particular owner. Click on save, okay, close. So you have, we have given owner 01 as EMID 01, he owns EMID 01, and owner 02 owns EMID 02. That's what we have done. So we have assigned our owner to a firefighter ID, okay? And now similarly, now you can go and assign, let us close this, uh, let us go and assign uh, the controllers, right? So you can do it through here or you can do it through here. Okay, so let's click on controllers. All right, so if you click on controllers, now you can assign the controllers now, right? So you're getting an error here. So we got an error when we clicked on controller. So um, now let's see. So you can assign a controller to a firefighter ID using this option. But this option has two, two ways, two, two, two uh, assignments, right? So when you click on assignment, what do you get? So you have to specify what you're trying to do here now here with this is you're going to, so for, the fire, for a firefighter ID, you're going to, you're specifying who the firefighter is okay, a firefighter user is, and who the controller is. You can do it in, you know, both assignment of firefighter user and the firefighter controller in, within this, with this option that we just saw. Um, otherwise, what you could do is, um, you can close this. If this was working, you could assign controller separately and you can assign firefighters separate, separately, okay. So before, uh, let's do this, right? So let's, this was not working. Let's check this one, right? Firefighters, right? Click on firefighters. 
right? Uh, click on assign. So what we are doing is for the firefighter ID, we are going to assign uh, we have the firefighter uh, firefighter, right? So firefighter user, click on firefighter field, and this is a field for firefighter user. Okay, for to the firefighter user, in this step, we are now assigning the firefighter ID. Okay, so this is our firefighter user. And click on add. And here, we're going to specify the firefighter ID that this user is, will be using. Okay. So specify the firefighter username here, and then in this now you assign the firefighter ID to that user. So, so EM user when he logs in, he will be logging using the EM ID firefighter. Okay, firefighter ID. Now firefighter ID, and then also you have to specify the who is the owner of that firefighter ID, right? So because we already mapped this firefighter ID to the owner, you'll get that owner name here automatically. So firefighter owner 01 owns EMID 01. That's what we did in the previous step. Right? So click on save. Say close. Now let us go and do the EM user 01 we assigned. Now let us assign the second uh, the firefighter ID to the second uh, firefighter user, EM user. So click on go. See if you want to search, you can search. Okay, so you don't need to get the entire list. So I could, you, I can basically go and search like this also. Okay, so basically filtering. So I get only the user IDs that start with EM. So for the second user, EM user zero two, I want to assign the firefighter ID zero two. Click on firefighter ID and uh, let's go and I get EM02, right? So click on this. So what this means is EM02, the firefighter user EM02 will be using the firefighter ID EM ID02. And again, you have to specify the owner. Right, let's do this. So select the owner because we already mapped it, right? Who the owners are going to be, right? So do that and say save. Now each, like firefighters can use, can, can have multiple firefighter IDs you assign to them, okay? It depends on what your requirements are. So close this and again, the save button if you are implementing workflow, instead of save, you will find, you will see the submit button here for approval purposes. Okay, so let's click close. So what we have done so far, we have now assigned the owner to the firefighter IDs and then the firefighter users to firefighter ID. Okay, these are the firefighter users. What we have done is to each one of them, we have assigned the firefighter ID that these people can use. The firefighters can use. Okay. Now the step that we missed is so is controllers, right? So when we clicked on controllers, for some reason in the system we got that error. So you, there is another alternate way of doing it. So to assign the controllers, right? You can click on firefighter IDs. If you don't want to use these two options, um, meaning if you don't if you don't want to use these two options, you could click firefighter IDs also here. And then you see you already have, because we assigned the firefighter users to the firefighter IDs, that's the information that you're getting here, right? Now, click on select the option, the, the firefighter ID, and say open. Okay, now you see the user ID is there, the firefighter user ID is there for this firefighter ID who is the person who's going to use this firefighter ID. So you have the second tab here called controller, right? Now here you can go and assign the controller to this firefighter ID. This is an alternate way of doing it, okay?
So who is the controller for this? This is EAM EAD2. We, we assign EAM controller 02 to this, this particular user. Okay, say okay. So if the workflow is uh, implemented, you can then say whether we should be notified through workflow, you know, what all can you do, right? Email and all that. So if you don't have that so yet, click on save. The data is saved. Close. Now click on the second one and say assign, not assign. I'm sorry. Yeah, you could do that too, but again, it's already done. So click on open. A controller. Okay, so the criticality also you can specify here, okay, for the user IDs, but so let's see. So add. A controller one, right? And say, okay. And um, save it. Now you you get to do this, you know, uh, what do you call, your as to open, because we assign the firefighter user, this firefighter user to a fire, firefighter ID in, in this step, right here by using firefighters. We did that firefighter ID assignments to firefighter users, right? Now, if you don't want to use these two, right, so you can directly go and do the firefighter user assignment and the controller assignment directly here, okay? So if you say assign, for example, right? Assuming that you have another ID, you enter the user ID here, the firefighter ID here, and then under each tab, you can assign the, in firefighter tab, you can assign the firefighter user. And uh, in the controller, you can assign the controller for this particular firefighter ID. So you can do it, uh, uh, the two assignments in one screen instead of going to multiple screens. Okay, so that also you can do. All right, so what we have done now, we have now as done, we have assigned designated who the owners, owners are and who the controllers are. And then using these two options mainly, uh, we have assigned uh, the controllers and the firefighter users to uh, the firefighter IDs. So we basically we're specifying that which controller is going to control which firefighter ID and which firefighter user will be using which uh, firefighter ID. Okay, that's what we have done here so far. Okay, so one of the last steps uh, that we have now is to when the firefighter users invoke uh, the EAM tool, the firefighter tool, they will have to specify the reason codes, okay, as to why they want to use the emergency access, right? So we have to now define, the next step is to define the reason codes. So let's see how we're going to do that here, okay? So let's see how we create a reason code. 